Now, believe it or not, the farm is growing. So first of all, right there, yes, that's our new gate to the farm. And obviously, we have a new wall. And on this side, you can be able to see our free rangers uh, right there. But today, this is not their focus. The focus is uh, on this side of the production. It's very interesting to see um, we have obviously day 21 buds which are inside there and obviously that's a fantastic water tank. We've actually installed new gutters. You can see how crispy they look like. So ideally, this is the process of farming 101. It's just unbelievable, like seriously, what is unfolding here at the farm, what we've been able to do. And ideally, again, what we are doing here at our free farmer. So uh, we have had just a delivery and it's coming in uh, that's robert he's going in for uh the sodas and yeah it's just unbelievable this is uh, the new the new west path and you can see how clean it is and obviously you also see we have been able to install a new tank right there as well as an outlet i know it's not a lot but for a small farmer I would say this is the right way. This is the best way to go about farming. Hey guys, welcome back to Afri Farmer. Now, today is day 21. I mean, can you believe since we started this journey, it has been from day 1, day 7, day 14, and today, which is day 21. So ideally, that makes a total of three weeks since our day old chicks arrived here at the farm and something interesting is uh, we have been doing a small experiment we wanted to know who manufactured the best animal feeds in the marketplace i know i know what you say he is going to tell us about afri farmer feeds trust me i'm not even going to tell you about afri farmer feeds because I'm actually out of stock. So let's talk about broiler feeds. And this is something we have been doing on a small scale at our farm, but on a larger level, we consume from some of the biggest brand in the industry. If you are in Kenya, you know this brand. I'm talking about Fugo. This is the most premium animal feeds in the market. I'm talking about Sigma, I'm talking about Isenia and the newcomers in the market and that's ideally maybe Backbone. But now for our experiment, I wanted to understand is Fugo, which I actually love, the best brand in the market all is it Isenia? Well, we didn't do it senior we actually doing sigma so is it fogo or is it sigma and something interesting is 
in this whole journey we have been noting the data from the very first day when these chicks came in the very first day we measured we saw it was 45 grams when it was day seven we measured and of course you can see the result right here because ideally i don't remember in day 14 we measured the weight and today we want to see for the first two weeks sigma has been winning and when i called my vet and this is our good friend dr Nderito, which you guys you remember he has been our consultant here at our farm and even at the trainings for our farmers in bamba and in other areas and i asked him good doctor i'm seeing something which is interesting in one end and something which is not interesting bad flock number a is performing very well but bad flock number b is somehow kind of lagging i was even tempted to change the feed but he says you know what you need to go until week number three you need to see if this data is uh, legit because for any feed manufacturers knows sometimes there are angle feeds which takes a certain longer to unlock their growth while others are way too faster which means these birds are able to assimilate this feed at a faster rate but now where i'm standing in here today we are at sigma feeds this flock is i don't know guys and i want to show you the result and once i'm done i want to take you to block a whereby we are also doing another batch with uh, fugo feeds same conditions same care same environment we want to see are they coming up because for the last two weeks there was a gap of 50 grams and this is uh, in day 14 and i remember predicting this data to robert and ali that i think in day 21 if this trend is going to be the same the flock for fugo will be behind by 100 gram average which i mean we are able to pick a bird from here from here from here and ultimately we do the average while for sigma might be a way or a way ahead with 100 grams i don't know so this is why we are here today at day 21 we want to see these birds right here is my prediction the same and if it's the same is it good news for me or bad news so and of course what do you do so that reminds you then we'll be having dr nderito in the farm either today or tomorrow morning it's been a while since we did a vlog with him and i want him to answer not just to us but to you guys what should you do if you notice your buds at day something or day 14 day 7 day 21 they are lagging behind so stay along and let's find out what is at the farm we'll be measuring a random sample from across the coop uh, you can see he goes from that end and he handled these birds uh, very easily and you can see how uh, he is coming along with the bird And this guy right here ate 912 grams, 912 grams. Eight hundred and sixty two Our last bad guys 
Wow, you cannot believe. Is that 990? Wow. Jesus Christ, guy. This guy is 994. I'm not making this up. Ali is surprised. Robert is as well surprised. And I am also equally surprised. 992 grams at J21. We don't make this up. There we are, guys. We are done with the weight measuring process. It's a lovely face whereby you get to see your buds, how they are measuring from this age to this, uh, I mean, from this size to this size. Are they uniform? Are they growing up well? And you don't know. And that's why I keep saying, as a farmer, if you don't have data if you cannot measure it then you cannot quantify it now uh before i share the result because i know most of you who have been following this series are curious i've been using this all right that is um the best way scale you can use for your buds obviously i know there is also another variation whereby you can hold it like this and then you kind of tend to hang your bud. But I love this scale for two reasons. One, it gives you the most precise, accurate, gram by gram. That is, even if you have like 10 grams, it can measure it. And even in our animal feeds unit, we also have one machine like this, which is very concise, very clear because every micronutrient matters the same thing every gram in farming matters so the results are in and let's get to see uh, what robert has found and uh ideally it's interesting to see that um obviously we had a sample size of 10 bands which have been selected randomly from that angle here that angle right here in the middle or across to ensure that we are not biased yeah that's another thing as a farmer don't try to be biased for you to be happy you need to know exact performance of your buds that's the only way you can diagnose the problem anyway before i deviate again let's see the results so at the first sample we had 860 grams and i can see it went gradually but for this sample size the biggest bud was 956 but i've also noted one of the buds which is outside the sample size we had 995 grams but for this sample size, the biggest bud is actually not 956, is actually 973. The lowest bud is 819 grams. Now that gives an average, weighted average of 899.7. So we can say at day 29, at day 21, our Sigma buds are weighing an average of 900 grams. I'd say that's a better performance. But you know what? I need to check this with Avian. This is one of the best um, feed software and broiler farming software I use to double check to see if our performance compares to their performance of their best given sample size and let's do that right now in a bit so obviously as usual uh, robert is will be putting this data in our office but also at our farm here robert is going to input it right there
481.7 and today which again is day 21 we have 899.7 grams so this is a thing as a farmer and i love what kentik does uh you might not know how to use software you might not know how to use excel sheet and trust me guys it's totally okay but one thing you need to know as a farmer is how to use a simple record keeping and the same thing you see what robert has here we have all our data here and this same data is also back again to our machines why we need to check the performance of these but block by block age by age we need to see this performance of these batches age by age week by week month by month so we can see what's working what's not working and today we've seen sigma is working right so is is fugo feed working now ladies and gentlemen um if you love what we do at Afri Pharma, I mean, this is the point where my, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Yeah, you've got to hit that subscribe button right here. We need to reach as many young farmers in Africa as possible. We need to reach as many aspiring entrepreneurs. Because trust me, the concept we use here at farming might seem only to work for poultry. But you don't need to be just a poultry farmer to use the same concept. Any business concept can be replicated again. For example, today we are talking the essence of record keeping, weighing your average for your birds, and that's how it works. So I know your answers. You want to know if the fugal feeds the average how they are and i love fugo trust me when i started this journey i started with them and i've been using them i have even close friends there but then will they match these guys right here who are actually 900 grams let me let me know what you think do you think fugo will if we have half sigma at 900 grams how many grams do you think will fugo will be at day 21 anyway the only way to find out is to get this data straight but yet again if you want to know if the data is right make sure you watch this video right here because i will be exposing i'll be showcasing how is that performance until next time this is afri farmer bye bye